Well, I finally made it to Grand Carnival the last weekend. Yay. Melody and Colleen were here last weekend. We'll put some footage but, of us. Oh, you did get some? I got some, but then my attention span. They, she started. I tried. All right, it's just Melody and I today. No, it's not. Well, I'm so sorry. We're meeting Isabel and Jessica. Yeah? They're not here yet, so we're waiting for them. And what are we going to do today? What's behind us? Grand Carnival. We're going to ride the carousel until they get here. Okay, first ride of the day is the carousel. Carousel. That's the stage. So it's super loud. Very, very loud. We'll check that out after. see what's going on we bought a nine tasting card like a taste around the world card so we can get nine different things for all the food tents that they have up i believe the parade ends the night at 6 30. um so we're gonna see what's going on we're kind of in a quiet area right now so we're gonna go see how crowded it actually is yes there's entry right over here it's not actually carousel line's not too bad but we're about to enter the midway area and it's already super loud Some Grand Carnival merch. We got the T-shirts, youth shirts, and tie-dye, and Snoop's plush, celebrating Grand Carnival. There's the tie-dye ones. They're twenty-four ninety-nine. The other ones over there were sixteen ninety-nine. this cup here it's like a jelly cup that's weird silly pint 12.99 uh, multiple plushes here different animals wearing the same shirt they are 14.99 and snoops is the big snoops is 16.99 that's the India food item we're at the china booth and we're going to be trying the steam pork dumplings and the general so egg rolls there's a bit of a wait so we got one thing out of three <laughs> at that booth the dumplings they look good and i guess that's soy sauce on top it's a little um yeah a little hopefully that doesn't Nobody loses a shoe over us. Just thinking that. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite. So is Melody. I'm hungry. She said, uh -huh. I I think they're done. <laughs> That's what the girl said. Yeah, there was a little confusion at that booth. They were out of egg rolls. 
because the staff who made them, somebody left them out and they went bad and then they ended up putting them in the fridge anyway, but they're not cooking them. Uh, and then the citrus drink I was gonna get, they don't have any of that as well. So all we got was the dumplings. Doesn't look like anybody's too excited about how they taste. They are good. They're good. They are good? I just here. We'll take other things. I guess I like crispier dumplings, yeah, not just, soggy. They're just yeah. They're not steamed and then like brown. I don't like this green stuff on. Huh? That's just green onion. They have good flavor though. It looks like you like them. <laughs> Did she eat both of those? She, yeah, just. I guess we'll try Spain's right there, so let's go try something from Spain. Okay. Next up, Spain. It looks like we're gonna get the chicken, shrimp, and sausage paella and the dolce de leche. And they are out of the drink also that I would like to try. So they have these at every station. Um, they're for the junior travelers, and there's little postcards. Representing each country. Each, each country you're at. And it's and a legit postcard. Yeah. And watch. And they have crayons. A little pack of crayons and your postcard, and you can send them to whoever you would like. Yep. All right, so all that booth had was the paella. They were out of churros. So the food booth opened at 3 o'clock, and it's only a little after 4, and uh, they seem to be out of a lot of stuff already. So I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Maybe it's a staffing issue and there's enough people to prepare food to have but enough for the event. In the but uh, yeah, I don't know. There's definitely chaos. Maybe it's because of the last weekend. They just don't care as much. I don't know. I wasn't here previously for any of the other weekends. So this is my first experience with Grand Carnival. And so far the food booths are chaos. Uh, out All out of food. I'm dripping crap on my pants. It's supposed to taste like? It's Chicken, shrimp, sausage, paella. Not even hot. It's cold. It's under a heat lamp. The heat lamp doesn't work. It's really flavorful. Like but spicy though? I love spice, so no. Um, I could see where some might think it has a kick, but the like thing somebody, of it is, like somebody sitting next to me. Yeah. Um, I don't you know, know how I am with food, like I like my cold food cold, yes. hot food hot. This is so not even on the warm side. It's about 85 degrees out today, so it's probably 85 degrees. Substance, there's... It would be good if it was hot. It's got really good flavor. Probably get food poisoning later. It tastes really good. I like this. Yeah. And I'm not as picky about temperature, so I'm fine with this. It is spicy too. I'm, it's really good flavor though. I'm glaring the juices. Yes, you are. They put it in a cone and it uh, leaks out the bottom. Sausage, I guess, is just crumbled in there because there's no chunks of sausage. But there's rice and peas and peppers and onions. Yeah, it's really good. It's got great flavor. Yeah, it does. So, you like that piece of shrimp? Yeah. Is it too spicy or just I a, a little spicy? It's a little, it's a little spicy, but it had really good flavor. Um, but yeah, we're learning that the foods are out of food already and it's only been about an hour since they've been open. So hopefully we get to try other things. But So one uh, of your season pass holder for $45, you get this ticket pass that gives you nine tastings. And we would have used five already out of two booths, but they were out of so much food that we've only used two so far. So we'll find out if we even have enough, if they even have enough food here to be able to use all nine tastings. So I guess we'll find out. I want to try the chocolate cake from Germany. Well, Jeremy's down at the end of this area. That's China right there. We did get some food on the other side of China was Spain. So we got those two booths out of the way. 
and now we're going to go back up to the front here and see what they have. I really want to try their Celebration Citrus Twist, but every booth seems to be out of that as well. We stopped at Italy, got the fried ravioli. Uh, we did not want to get the pasta in a bread bowl, but they did say they were out of that. So luckily we weren't gonna get that, but uh, they did say they ran out of that food. And they also ran out of plates, so they had to put our ravioli in a cup. But it smells really good. It does smell really good. So this is the fried ravioli. Oh, you got it. Yeah, we weren't gonna get they said they ran out of the spaghetti and meatball Stop. option. We weren't gonna dip it and put it in your mouth. It's filled with ricotta, not your normal mozzarella. Okay. mozzarella yeah. It's good. It tastes like mozzarella sticks. It smells good. It tastes like mozzarella sticks. With ricotta. Mm. Oh. What's the temperature? Hot. <laughs> I think it's warm. They were, these were under heat lamps too though. They must have had them the right wattage. No, it's hot. Don't unfold the sun. These are even Sunday, so what are they going to do tomorrow? I'm sure they have a specific amount of food for each day. Mm. I don't really taste anything. Oh, it's not flavorful, but it's hot. I mean, ricotta, ricotta cheese by itself doesn't have flavor. Yeah, it doesn't have flavor. I'm gonna go. But it's fried, it's hot, but my belly is full from that. So the sauce, you definitely need the sauce on there to give it the flavor. Oh yeah, the sauce The is texture good. is good. But it's pretty good. So at each booth, like this is Spain, they have these little recreations I guess is something like in their town they had so far we've been to Thailand China and I went back to Thailand India there's India. Thailand's not here yeah. India China and Spain no um, so it's okay oh my gosh don't worry about it um, they have these little characters that have a QR code so you just put it up to your little QR code and it takes you to a YouTube video of these little characters for kids and it's this little cartoon telling you a little bit about their country and then telling you where the next clue is. It takes you like on a little scavenger hunt, something about the next country um, and where to go. So, so it's, it's a just little, something a little fun little around interactive the thing for yeah. kids and it's educational. And it's fun for me, so it's not just for kids. I've been totally entertained by this. Melody and I stand in the food lines, Colleen plays with their interactive kids game. We do. <laughs> so here is Germany's little stand interactive thing. So there's the QR code. Let's see if you can scan it at home and see what comes up. This little reindeer thing should come up on YouTube. Next up, German food. Hopefully they're not out of what we want. First I got my $4 bottle of Coke. That's with the have pass our holder. Over there? Nope. No, they're they're out of the drink as well. So Germany booth. Uh, this is a sausage and kraut balls. They look good. It smells like sauerkraut. And we wanted to get the chocolate cake, but they don't have any of the toppings, which is like critical for German chocolate cake to have the coconut and pecan topping. 
So we just got the sausage and kraut balls. Oh. It's like minced sausage probably with mixed with kraut. Yeah, it's a lot of kraut. It's cold. Cold. <laughs> Why is it cold? It's even in a warmer box with a lid. They didn't turn it on. Actually, I don't think they shut the lid. Can you taste sausage or just sauerkraut? I don't even taste sauerkraut. I taste filling, like bread filling. Filling? Like you can taste a hint of sauerkraut, but it's like bread. <laughs> they already taste it. Okay, I have a lot of the mustard. Are you going to taste it? No. Don't be disappointed. You're not going to taste sausage at all. It's a sauerkraut ball with bread. Okay, how much was that? Because that's not worth it. It's a ball all of... All the food items are typically like 6 to $7. I don't like that. Card, with the card and the discount we get, they end up being $5 each. I don't like it. It's no, breaded I'm not, sauerkraut. I'm not, uh, not a fan of this. I'm gonna take one more bite with mustard, and that's that. The mustard's the best part. Just, I can see little bits of sausage, but you can't, can't taste, taste it. it. No. That mustard's good. I said the mustard's, mustard's the best part. part. <laughs> the mustard's very. Mustard. They had pretzel bites there yeah. that you could dip the mustard. You can get pretzels anywhere. They're probably the best thing here. It I it does give... actually enhance it with the mustard. You still don't taste sausage, but no. the mustard flavor combined with that improves it. Yes. For sure. Because the mustard's so good. Yeah. So let's go see what else we can find that they're not out of. Here's France. I see they still have sliders. That's always a thing. Burgers, little burgers. So the France booth has these mini sliders and a brioche bun and some kind of French cheese. Probably Briere or something. Briere. They also have grapes with fruit, but who knows if they'll have any of it. So we got sliders from France. It's got Gruyere. I thought it had <laughs> some kind of sauce, but I don't see any kind There's of sauce. There's nothing on it. It's uh, a <laughs> little piece of cheese and a brioche's French bun and some undercooked fries. Or maybe they just sat out for a while. Look at They're not cooked. <laughs> and then a crepe. With no lemon curds. It's a mixed curd. berry crepe. It's supposed to have lemon curds, but Did they, they were out of lemon curds. I have no idea. Feel it. This is like bizarre to me. The one thing I did do was I double checked the count. So I counted. We should have two more food items to try based on our card punches. But the guy at France, after we got this, said we have three. So somebody either mistakenly didn't take a credit away. Or he's mistaken. But either way, I don't know. Like, I'd like to try the German chocolate cake for sure. Okay. Are you going to say what is in your head, or are we just going to watch yeah. you chew? It, they forgot the flavor of the cream. Like, not forgot the flavor, it was very dry, like, you know how crepes are thin and flavorful on their own and sometimes crispy? The crepes are just so good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't see, yeah, I don't, there's no one making crepes in that booth. They're okay. probably just pulling them out of a drawer yeah. and throwing berries on it. How do you see this? Just like that. You're not. I think it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's just okay. You know what the berry mixture is? 
Costco? Yeah, it's that Costco berry mixture. That's a good it. mixture. Yeah, it is. So we have to have some mustard from those things. We'll put our own little condiment on there. I swore there was like some kind of sauce supposed to be on it, based on the description. Where did you get this? France. France. Um, Sir Ambrose, Bonser, Grouge, Cheese, and Thomas Frites. Oh, palm frites. That's, so that's French fries. Oh, uh, yeah. So just. So nothing. <laughs> and that's a tiny, tiny piece. They took one piece of cheese and broke it in four. It's a fast food burger. So, it's not bad. Really? You can't taste the cheese. Well, um, Briere doesn't have any flavor anyway. Um, it's not. You know what it tastes like? The burgers at the diner. Yeah, at, they're actually good. I like yeah. their burgers. Like it's at not the coasters, the coasters, yeah. like yeah. It tastes just like their diner. It's like, Probably the same place where they get all their food. Yeah. It's not a bad burger. Okay. Here, try it with the bun. Let me know how the bun tastes. Here. Rear cheese, Mel. Definitely put that mustard. The mustard's yummy, but we already established that. This is really good. I really like this, Mom. Good. The whipped cream's good on that. It's not a bad burger. No, oh, no, brioche. Brioche is a good bun. Yeah. I mean, I don't eat buns, but... But it's literally just a brioche bun with is the a French bun. Burger. Brioche cheese is a French cheese. But that's all that makes but it But the French cheese is so tiny, you can't taste it at all. Um, so, pro tip, get the mustard from Germany and the yes. sliders from France and combine them. Yes. Because the mustard on it is really good. Melody, what did you think of the crepe? It was very good. And you know what? The size of that with the french fries, like that's worth the price of the sampling. So we got, it was in the fridge. It's just firm. It is frozen. I think it's frozen. Well, we'll be the first to find out. <laughs> our steps are poking at first. German chocolate cake. They got the topping back in. Look. But they ran out of plates. Melody, tell me your thoughts. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Mr. Albert, what's your thoughts? It's better than the crepe. Oh, yeah. It's one of the best things so far today. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking the paella is the best. That was so flavorful. Flavored food. And then this would be second. Everything else is equally trash. <laughs> Alright, I'm a little worried. I think it's like, good. I kind of want to try the toppings. Taking the tiniest piece. No. I like it. No. Super chocolate. No. So, like a fudge cake. It's 5.30 and we're gonna head back up to the gift shop area because I gotta try to find the shirt that I had prepaid for online. And I guess that was a mistake because if they don't have my size then I gotta try to figure out how to get my money back. But it was $2 off if you ordered it online ahead of time. Come on, come on, come on. That's the green tea cooler. Yeah, it's really good. It has basil and lemon, green tea, and something else. If you give me your card, I'll tell ya. It has. I won't tell you because it's not on here. Huh. But it's good. It's really <laughs> sweet though. My and I got a citrus twist. 
blinky citrus twist. This is Sprite mixed with uh, some kind of citrus juices. Pineapple, orange. Uh, it's really good though. You're tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Well, good thing the parade is the last thing of the night. And then I guess they'll wrap up the ceremonies, which is on our way out. So the uh, parade, this is our parade spot. And it comes straight towards us. Yeah. In between the yellow lines and then goes right up that way. So we got a good shot. What was your favorite food? Dumplings and the churros. Oh, and, oh, and the crepe. That's a, my favorite, but I like the But you like the shrimp, you said the yeah, paella shrimp. That was my favorite though. So your favorite the was the churros and the dumplings. And the dumplings. Okay. Even the chocolate cake? Yes. That was really good. But was that was the chocolate cake better than the churros? Yeah. I yeah. agree. It's not my yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite food? Flavor-wise? Yes. That thing they got from Spain. Paella. Yeah, that was the most flavorful. Yeah. And then And then yeah. she looks out. Churros. Churros? <laughs> Cinnamon and sugar had, on dough. <laughs> they, although they were undercooked. Yeah, the middle was a little soft. And it, they didn't have the sauce with them. Yeah, there was no more caramel sauce. They were, they tasted like a churro. But you can't mess up. But that paella from Spain was the most, most flavorful, flavorful dish. Yes. Yeah, mine was the paella, and it was a good quantity too. Like that was a good amount. The sliders were okay, but they were just your standard like quick service burger. But the portion size was definitely probably the best if you're just looking to fill your stomach. But uh, the paella was definitely the best. Chocolate cake was really good. But most everything, I, we still even have one more thing to punch, and I don't know that we will. There's really nothing else that we want to try because they were out of a lot of stuff. They were out of so much. Yep. But they did, so they were out of churros at first, and then that was at Spain, but then they did get some more. And, and they didn't even tell us when we ordered a churros that they didn't have the sauce. I was like, yeah. hey, can we get the sauce with it? And it's like, no, we don't have that. <laughs> just bunch a lot. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't know, know, it seems like they're just winging it. Like, they're just winging the food booths. Tonight, and I don't know if it was like that through the whole carnival because this is the second to last night, and we're just finally getting here uh, to try the food so and stuff. But curious if this is how it typically is, or is it because know. it's the last weekend? Yeah, maybe they're just they don't want to overstock inventory of food, so they're just dividing it between today and tomorrow. And when they run out today, at least they have some for tomorrow to finish it. Who knows? Yeah, but coming on the last day. Good luck. Expect anything.
Mass Exodus. <laughs> Is it on? Is it on? Is it on? Ow! Oh. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> uh, okay, it's gonna wrap it up. Um, I guess the rule of thumb is not to judge anything until you try it twice. Yes. But based that on this true. experience, I wouldn't want to do it again. Uh, the parade was nice. Yeah, the I love melody the like the music, right? Yeah. Um, the food booths were a little chaotic. Ran out of food maybe like opening weekend. That was we like tried to get here earlier, but the weather didn't cooperate. The most um, and our chaotic, schedules. disorganized mess. Never so yeah, food people. service. <laughs> food service needs some improvement for something like oh this. Oh my gosh. But I know they are short staffed here. Poor Kyle. I still feel bad for Kyle. <laughs> send him an email. Yeah, send him an email. I'm going to give Kyle a shout out but to management. Some of the food was okay. Some of it was not. Some of it we couldn't try because they didn't have it. <laughs> a lot of it we couldn't try because they didn't have it. But there's like, I guess, a little dance party going on that we're going to see if somebody likes the music. But I am so tired. We're going to wrap it. Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. But we'll Me stay too. for Melody to listen to music and then we're going to go. Okay. So, until next time, last, last time. time.